Hey, aloha kaho. So about that water park, uh, I ended up going to that board meeting that was down in Hawaiian Paradise Park. And what I can say is that the lavena of that board is super pupuka. And for those who don't ola lo Hawaii, I guess that can be translated as they were messy. And what it seemed like was even their own community was super not with most of the plans that these guys were trying to bring out like for example um a good majority of people were there to be in opposition against this whole like mailbox idea that the board was trying to pass and and every community member who spoke up at the meeting was pretty much against their whole plan but okay so as for the whole water park stuff supposedly there was one um board member in particular who who has been trying to get this project moved in the background and then um when he was finally called out my name by some people in the audience who had heard him speak about the water park project in private um he kind of got flustered and and he full-on interrupted a community member who was giving their public testimony and like they weren't even talking about him but he just he stopped them and he was like you know i just gotta say because my name has been mentioned that i never i never once said anything about our water park or a golf course or any kind of commercial development like that and what was hilarious about that was like these three holly women in the audience they full-on raised their hand and they were like um no we've actually had conversation with you in private and you've suggested these ideas so <laughs> uh it was pretty much holly's turning on holly's which is hilarious but what was not hilarious was how the board was handling the whole public testimony part of the meeting because bruh i mean most of us kanaka who've been put into these situations we're kind of used to it yeah like they'll give you three minutes and if you pass though they either stop you and try to like have you wrap it up or they'll just full-on cut you off and be like okay next person but at this particular meeting <laughs> had this one holly lady and she she had um i don't know what it's called the thing that the the judges use in the court the hammer <laughs> yeah she was just banging them whenever people weren't finishing their speeches on time she'd be like okay three minutes and if they like tried to say something else she'd just be like but the most shocking one like it actually shook me was when um anakala keppa went up to give his testimony and he was first to go up um to speak on behalf of the preservation of the cultural site ko'olawo so anyways he gets up to talk and and he starts to go into protocol he starts to do an oli and the board full-on interrupts him they full-on cut him off like mid protocol or not even mid like he would just start and the audio was like oh sorry like we can't hear you and we don't know what you're saying and Anakala was so like gracious about how he handled that. I mean, if it was me, I could never. I would. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something I I gotta work on. But he he stopped and he kind of shaded them in a respectful way. Uh, I mean, I, I can't give you a direct quote because I don't know exactly what he said. But this is uh, No Yao's version of what he said. He pretty much just spoke into the mic and said, "Well, it's not like any of you on this board can understand me, anyways." Because <laughs> what he was doing was all in all out. Yeah, I was in Hawaiian language, so. <laughs> but yeah, the overall consensus was uh, there was not one person in the audience, or at least anyone who gave their testimony who was in support of a water park or whatnot everyone was supportive of the preservation of the site even people who were there to speak up on behalf of the whole mailbox issue they even came up to us or would even mention in their speeches that um that they support the preservation of the site and that that should be given top priority there was even one super cool popolo dude after i gave my testimony he came up to me and he just sat with me he just wanted to vola all and he wanted to let me know that that he understands as a black man who grew up over on the continent so over in America, he, he understands what it means to have the system constantly work against you. So he felt strongly that he needs to support us, us Kanaka, us Native Hawaiians. And he, he let me know that if I ever need him, that <laughs> just to give him a call and he'll call his guys. And <laughs> it was just really cool. That was Yeah, I, I got to meet a lots of cool people. But my favorite part was getting to meet Anakala Kepa and, and his lovely wahine, Onauna. In fact, when I first walked into the meeting, um, we kind of recognized each other because I recognized them from videos and they recognized me from my videos. So it was kind of like we were both like geeking out. <laughs> over finally getting to meet each other it just felt awesome because i got to mahalo them for all their awesome works and and they mahaloed me so it's just it's like a mini aloha love fest in the back corner of the room where all the kanaka were sitting <laughs> but yeah if there's any other updates i'll let you guys know for sure and yeah that's pretty much it for today <laughs> and as always us 
Puna people will stay vigilant and alert of any other weird kind things these guys are trying to pull on us. I still think it was hilarious that the holly ladies in the audience were <laughs> calling on the guy on the board like, no sir, you literally talked to us about wanting to make these projects happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, that's it. Aloha guys.